Hi children, welcome back to my channel Anvani Kumar Basics of Physics. In this video, we are going to discuss about the TSMC 2021 August 4th session 2 question paper and physics bits. So I want to upload this 2021 physics paper in four parts. This is the part one. So I will upload very as early as possible. That's why you have to follow regularly. So here the first question it is there. The ratio of E by W of the relative strength of electromagnetic force E to the weak nuclear force W is the ratio of E by W of the strength of the electromagnetic force to the weak nuclear force W is options 10 to the power of minus 11, 10 to the power of 11, 10 to the power of 20 and 10 to the power of minus 20. So this is a question from physical world chapter so that's why don't underestimate the chapter of physical world and now here we know that the order of what is me e means electromagnetic so electromagnetic force electromagnetic force is order of 10 power of 36 that means what e value is what 10 power of 36 and now what is weak nuclear force weak nuclear force w is the order of is the order of 10 power of 25 then we want to find out the what is e by w, w very simple e by w is equals to e value is 10 power of 36 and e w value is 10 power of 25 then what do you get 10 power of 36 minus 25 so then what do you get 10 power of 11 so the ratio of e by w is what 10 to the power of 11 so b is the right answer problem is based on that concept of relative error relative error and that is from the chapter of units and measurements that's why from the units and measurements one mark should be will be given in the examination so that's why here see the problem consider a physical quantity z consider a physical quantity z expressed as z is equals to a into b to four of 1 by 2 by c square if the relative error in the magnitudes of a b c is one percentage then the relative error in the z will be so first you have to write the the given equation what it is z is equals to a b to four of 1 by 2 by c square and now what was given percentage of errors relative error of a relative relative error a is equals to 1 percentage and next thing is what b 1 percentage and c also 1 percentage then what you have to find now delta z by z we have to find so already we have one formula is there that is the combination of errors for example here uh, x is equals to a square b square and uh, c square by y square then we will write formula should be like this delta x by x is equals to power into 2 into relative error of a plus again power into delta b by b relative error of b and again 2 into delta c by c and again y square even though it is in denominator we will write 2 into delta y by y like this so in combination of errors we will write the relative error for division like this relative error of delta x by x is equals to 2 e into power so we have to write power power into delta a by plus again power into delta b by b plus c into s even though it is minus we have to write plus only and again y square means what 2 into delta y by y so that's why we have to use this formula here now now delta z by z is equals to what you have tried simply what is the equation delta a by a into plus 
वन बै टू इंटू डेलटा बी बै बी प्लस टू इंटू डेलटा सी बै सी ना पर्सेज आफ एर डेलटा जेड बै जेड इंटू हंड्रेड इज ईक्वल टू वाट रईट डेलटा ए बै ए प्लस वन बै टू इंटू डेलटा बी बै बी प्लस टू इंटू डेलटा सी बै सी इंटू हंड्रेड सो दट वै हि What you have write? Delta z by z into 100 is equals to very simple. Delta a by a value is given one plus half into delta b by value is again one plus two into one two into one into 100. That means simply here what you have write? One plus one by two plus two. That is equals what write? Two plus one plus four by two, that is seven by two. Seven by two, that is equals what to write three point five into how many what? Just simply I am going to write three point five percentage. So that's why second option is the correct one. See the next question. This is from kinematics. A stone falls freely under gravity. A stone falls freely under gravity. It covers distance d1 and d2 in the first four seconds and the next eight seconds. The ratio of d2 d2 by d1 is dash. Options eight, two, sixteen, twelve. A stone falls freely under gravity. It covers distance of d1 and d2 in the first four seconds and the next eight seconds. The ratio of d2 by d1 is so. There is one problem here for us. What you are saying, a stone is falling under gravity. So, stone is falling like this. It comes down. So, what you are saying, in the first four seconds, in the first four seconds, it is travel distance of d1. And next thing is. In d is the d two in eight seconds. D one is in for four seconds and it is for now eight seconds. So here, if we can find the distance from here to here, what is how much time is again four plus eight? That is how much twelve seconds. So here d is the distance travel in twelve seconds. D one is the distance travel in four seconds and d two is the in eight next eight seconds. It is not here from top to here. From here onwards, it is eight seconds. Clear. Now, what we have to find out is d two by d one. D is what distance travel in twelve seconds. So, to find out the d two value, simply we have to find the d minus d one. D two is equals to d minus d one. That is the concept here. So, what is the d? What is d? Is where again s is equals to u d plus Of AD square. This is the equation of motion, and we can say that it is falling from the height h. Stone is falling from height. Stone is falling from height h. That's what right h is equal. S is equal to h. And when it is freely falling, u is equal to zero. For freely falling body, initial velocity is zero, and a is equal to g. So for the first case, case one, this is I am going to say case one. That is for the time d is equals what four seconds. Then substitute here in the equation, h is equals to zero into t, zero into four plus half into g into t square. Then h is equal to what right? Half into g value is ten. And what you are saying is t four. So t one I am going to say that is okay. Four square. Then h is equals what? Right? One by two into ten into sixteen. Then two ones are two eights are. Then what you get? H is equals to eighty eighty meters. Eighty meters. And in the same manner, we have to find out the distance travel in twelve seconds. Distance travel in twelve seconds. Here, what I would say, case two. S is equal to h. 
and uh, d is the distance travel and t is equals to what 12 seconds 12 seconds then we will find out it what it is simply h is equals to of g into t square formula it is there h is again it is what i am going to say here h distance travel nothing but it is what of into g into g value is what 10 10 into time taken is what from here to i am saying this is a and this is a b time taken is what it is 12 seconds that's why here what you have read 12 square so then what I have tried h is equals to 1 by 2 into here 2 ones are 2 fives are 5 into 144 so 144 into 5 is what 5 fours are 20 5 fours are 20 and 5 ones are 720 so h is equals to 720 meters 720 meters so if it is taken as h and this is the also h but i am going to say this now i am going to say this is h1 and h1 or anything water maybe as for diagram this is the d1 and now it is d okay so after that we want to find out the next thing is so d2 means what you have to write d2 is equals what you have to write simply d minus d1 or simply h2 is equals to as you wish h minus h1 h2 is nothing but what it is here h2 is equals to 720 minus 80 720 minus 80 so 720 minus 80 means what 0 4 and is 640 then h2 is equals what 640 so here d2 value is 640 and d1 value is 80 now we have to find out the ratio then what to write d2 by d1 is equals what you have to write 640 by 80 0 0 cancel so d2 by d1 is what 8 by 1 or 8 so this is the right answer see the next question this is the relation between the velocity and displacement in the combination of integrations so one of the important model so watch it the velocity of a particle moving along the x-axis the velocity of a particle particle is moving in along the x-axis varies as a function of time t as v of t is equals to 1 minus 3t square plus 2t cube meter per second if its position at t is equals to 0 x is equals to 0 at Two is at t is equals two seconds. Its position is the velocity of a particle moving along the x-axis varies as a function of time t as v of t is equals to one minus three d square plus two t cube meter per second. If its position at t is equals zero is x is equals zero, then at t is equals two seconds, its position is what? We have to find out it. Options are one meter. First option, second option, two meters and third option 4 meters and fourth option 18 meters so the second one is the right one how it is possible let us check what he was given so this is the x-axis at this origin t is equals to 0 then x is equals to 0 when t is equals to 2 seconds what is its position so we want to find out the position the time of t is equals to 2 seconds for that it was given only one clue is that is what v of t is equals to 1 minus 3t square plus 2t cube v of t is equals to 1 minus 3t square plus 2t cube given thing is velocity but we have to find out the s displacement or position so we know that v is equals to dv by dx v is equals to dv by dx this is the sorry sorry one second v is equals to dx by dt v is equals to dx by dt this is the relation then what right simply v into dt is equals to dx so v into dt is equals to dx this is the formula here we want to integrate this equation 
so here now simply dx is equals to v dt that means what is the value of v s that is so 1 minus 3t square plus 2t cube 1 minus 3t square plus 2t cube into dt so now we have to integrate on both sides 1 minus 3t square plus 2t cube dt within the limits x is equals to 0 to x is equals to what and within the time t is equal to 0 to time is equals to 2 so this is the first, first one here and first to do this one we have to know about the integration at the same time the following formula you have to remember this the formula is integration of x to power of n dx is equal to x to power of n plus 1 by n plus 1 this is the formula so that's why you have to remember this one if any limits are there then we can write x over of n plus 1 by n plus 1 limits a b first we have to substitute the upper limit where we have x minus lower limit that means what x over of n plus 1 minus means here what simply b to four of n plus 1 minus a to four of n plus 1 by n plus 1 so this is the formula for this integration okay so here now for go for the calculation here simply integration definition both are cancelled we get x x is equals to i am taking integral into the equation 1 minus integral 3t squared plus integral 2t cube dt simply here now x is equal to integral 1 into dt minus integration 3t square dt and again plus integration 2 into t cube dt so here x is equal to these two will cancel what we get here now t minus 3 into apply this formula what we have t 2 to the power of plus 1 by 2 plus 1 plus again 2 into t to the power of 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 then what write x is equals to t minus 3 into t cube by 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 2 into t to the power of 4 by 4 and limits are what 0 to 2 limits so first we have to substitute the upper limit only 2 minus 3 into 2 cube by 2 plus 3 plus 2 into what it is 2 to the power of 4 by 4 so again minus of 0 uh, if we can substitute the zeros or we will get all the zeros that's why no need to write so simply here x is equals to 2 minus 3 3 cancel what do you get 2 minus 8 plus 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 4 8 16 2 to the power of means what 16 by 4 16 by by 4 so what do you get Yes, x is equals to 2 minus 8 plus 2 into 4 means what 8 8 and cancel what you get x is equals to 2 so that's why given option is the correct one that is second one okay this question is based on the resolution of vectors the y component of vector a is plus 3.0 meters a is a y is what plus 3.0 meters and if a makes an angle 30 degrees counter clockwise from the positive y axis then the magnitude of a is assume a is in x y plane and options are 2 root 3 2 root 11 root 15 and root 21 so here for the given data the diagram should be like this so so this is the angle 30 degrees and this is a y and this is ax and this is a so all of you know what it is ay is equals to here what do you get a cos theta from this one what do you get cos theta is equals to what do you get adjacent side ay and by a so ay is equals to a cos theta ay is equals to a cos theta 
and what is the angle here theta is equal to 30 degrees and if it is given a y value how much that is plus 3 now we have to find what is the a value that is the question clear so a y is given 3.0 meters and cos theta is equal to what it is from the diagram a y by a and a y is equal to a cos theta then simply here what it was given theta is equal to 30 degrees so then substitute here a y is equal to a cos theta in that a y is what 3 and a into cos 30 cos 30 value is what 3 is equal to a into 3 is equal to a cos theta that means 3 is equal to a into cos 30 3 is equal to a into cos 30 value is what root 3 by 2 then what do you get 6 into a root 3 then a is equal to what 6 by root 3 then what do you write a is equal to 2 into 3 by root 3 then what do you write a is equal to 2 into 3 means what do you write root 3 into root 3 you can write by root 3 root 3 is the answer then what do you get a is equal to 2 into root 3 so among the four options first one is the correct one find the component of p find the component of vector p 2i plus 3j along the direction of vector q i plus j options are a is equal to 2 b is equal to root 5 and c is equal to 5 root 2 and d1 is root 2 by 5 so what you have to find component of p component of component of p along q for that formula is p dot q by mod of q that is the formula so you have to remember this component of p along q along q p dot q by mod of q that is what you have to write here very simply p dot q is what p dot q by mod of q is equals to 2i plus 3j into i plus j by mod of 1 square plus 1 square q is what i plus j so 1 square plus 1 square then what do you get 2 into 1 2 plus 3 into 1 3 by 1 plus 1 root 2 so 5 by root 2 so among the four options c is the right one what will be the minimum speed what will be the minimum speed of roller caster so that the passengers at the top when becomes upside down upside down do not fall out consider the acceleration due to gravity is 10 meter per second square and the radius of the curvature of the roller caster is 10 meters what will be the minimum speed of the roller caster so that the passenger at the top when becomes upside down do not fall out consider the acceleration due to gravity as 10 meter per second square and the radius of curvature of the roller caster is 10 meter and the options are 20 meter per second 10 meter per second 15 meter per second and 25 meter per second so here already you have idea about the roller caster Roller gas is nothing but it will be found in Wanderla, Ramaj Film City and so many times we will see so many places we can see so when roller caster should be most like this when so here the track should be different it may be in any shape so here it is comes down and falls down like this then for this condition what he was given radius is how much he was given 10 meters and uh, <coughs> g value is 10 meter per second squared when the passengers are comes to at this one at this place they have some minimum speed to maintain that they must be not came out from the that position they do not fall down from their places at their positions for that they must be maintain some minimum velocity that is the formula is very simple at the top of the circle we know that v is equals to under of gr this is the formula v is equals to under of gr is the formula to find out the minimum speed is v 
then already what he was given v is equals to g value is 10 and r value is 10 then what do you do is get v is equals to again 10 meter per second so option b is the right one next question very interesting one a car moves on horizontal circular road of radius 16 meters horizontal circular road of radius 16 meters with increasing speed at constant rate of constant rate of 3 meter per second square if the coefficient of friction between the road and the tire is 0 0.5 then the minimum speed at which the car will skid is g is equals to 10 meter per second square we have to take options 5 meter per second 10 meter per second 16 meter per second and 8 meter per second so that is the problem given we have to find out the at which speed the car will skid very simple so it is the one horizontal curved road so the car is coming in this way this is circular road and this is the position of car this is what position of car here what you are saying the car is increasing its speed at constant rate of 3 meter per second square 3 meter per second square means what it is acceleration that's why this is the, the tangential acceleration is what 3 meter per second square that is I am going to say it is AT tangential acceleration and after that here what he was given mu is the 0 0.5 when the car is in along the circular path there is some acceleration is acting towards its center that is the what you have to say radial acceleration or centripetal acceleration that's why I'm going to say this is a r radial acceleration or a n or anything water maybe so here now we have one formula is there that is what a is equals to v square by r so I'm going to say this a r or without confusion I'm going to say this is a n so no need of confusion simply already one already is there a n is equals to v square by r that is the formula here and already what is given r is equals to 16 meters now we have to find out the v what is v minimum speed minimum speed of car to skid that is we have to find out so here we want to find out the first thing is a n value we have to find and v value we have to find so for that he was given one clue what it is f is equals to mu into n what is the friction for what is f is equal to mu into n and that should be equal to the net force that is i am going to say f is equal to mu n into m a so here simply what is the here a is net acceleration because already here two are there that's why here mu n is equal to m into a net value is root of a t square plus a n square clear and what is mu n mu n into n value is what mg mg is equals to m into a t square plus a n square so here m m cancel what is the value given mu value 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 into 10 is equals to under root of what is a t square value 3 3 square plus a n square so here 0 0.5 10 means what 5 5 is equals to and root of 9 plus a n square then squaring on both sides what we get 25 is equals to 9 plus a n square from that what we get a n square is equals to what we get 25 minus 9 that is what a n square is equals to 16 and a n value is what 4 meter per second square a n value is what 4 meter per second square so already here a n value is 4 and r is 10 then what you get here simply v value we have to find a n value is what much you got s and r value we have to miss then what read a n is equals to v square by r a n value is 4 v square by r value is what r value is what simply 16 r value is what 16 then v square is equals to 4 into 16 
then v square is equal to 64 and v is equal to 8 meter per second so among the four options d is the correct one see the next question that should be on the topic of friction look here once the question is consider a small block sliding down on inclined plane consider a small block sliding down on inclined plane of inclination 30 degrees the horizontal it is the horizontal the coefficient of friction is mu is equals to 2 third into x where x is the distance through which the mass slides down the distance covered by the mass before the st stop it is the uh, distance covered by the mass before it stop is consider a small block sliding down on inclined plane of inclination 30 degrees with the horizontal the coefficient of friction is mu is equals to 2 third x where x is the distance in meter through which the mass slides down the distance covered by the mass before it stops is that is we have to find out it options are given first option is root 3 by 2 and second option is b root 3 and third option is 2 by root 3 and d is 2 root 3 let's go for the concept what he was given this is the one inclined plane that is how having inclination theta how much it is 30 degrees on that block it is comes down from top to bottom here all of you know weight is divided into two components mg cos theta and this is mg sin theta and friction will be in upward direction so from this case we have a is equals to g of sin theta minus mu cos theta or mu k cos theta this is the formula for acceleration you have to remember a is equals to g of sin theta minus mu k cos theta so a is equals to g into sin 30 degrees minus mu k mu k value is what 2 third x into cos 30 so a is equals to g into sin 30 value is 1 by 2 minus 2 third x into cos 30 value is what root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 into x so here what we get a is equals to g into 1 minus g value is what 10 10 into of minus 2 to cancel root 3 by 3 into x then what, what it is we get a is equals to 10 into 1 by 2 into 1 by root 3 into x so this is the value of a actually what you have to find out the distance covered we have to find out it so for that we can go for the next formula that is that is also related to the some integrations here let or we know that a is equals to v into dv by dx this is the formula we are going to use a is equals to v into dv by dx that means what a into dx is equals to v into dv v into dv so here v into dv is equals to a value is what 10 into 1 min 1 by 2 minus 1 by root 3 into x now we have to find out the x so for that we have to integration on both sides integral v dv is equals to integral 10 of minus 1 by root 3 into x so then these two are cancelled what we get or simply here v square by 2 is equals to 10 into integral 1 by 2 dx minus integral 1 by root 3 into x dx then what do we get v square by 2 is equals to 10 into x by or uh, 1 by 2 into x minus 1 by root 3 into x square by 2 because already i told you in the previous problem integral x to 4 of n dx is equals what right x to 4 of n plus 1 by n plus 1 like that so we will get here x is there that's what you write x to the power of 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1 
then so here simply what you were saying before reaching the bottom the velocity becomes zero that's why v term is zero that's why zero is equals to 10 into x by 2 minus x square by 2 root 3 clear then what do you get 10 come this side then automatically zero then what do you get x by 2 minus x square by 2 root 3 is equals to 0 then x by 2 is equals to x square by 2 root 3 to do cancel x square cancel x by root 3 is equals to 1 that implies x is equals to root 3 so among the options which is having x is equals to root 3 that is the right one see the next question that is given on the concept of objects are connected by strings or ropes Consider two masses M1 and M2 are connected through the pulley. Mass M2 starts from rest and at height h and fall down with what speed it hits the ground. So the diagram should be like that. So some options are given. A is equal to under of M2 by M1 plus M2 into GH and B is under of 2GH and C is under root of M2 by M1 plus M2 into 2GH and D is under root of m1 by m1 plus m2 into 2gh so if four options are either correct chapare the given situation is nothing but it is look here m2 and m1 are both are connected by a rope and that should be passed through a pulley and m2 is initially at rest when it is comes down here m2 is greater than m1 when the it is suddenly comes down and that should be reaches the ground and it is coming from the height of h so we want to find out the with what velocity that should be reaches the ground m1 m2 rendu unnai oka taadi tho gattaru aa taade em avutundi pulli nunchi velutundi velutunnappudu m2 starting lo rest position lo undata adi starting nunchi manaki rest position unnappudu h height nunchi kindi padutundi ani cheptunnadu enduku deeni mass ekkundi kabatti automatically kindi vastundi adi h height nunchi kindi vachinappudu ground touch cheyinappudu dani speed entu undani adutunnadu that is the concept so now we want to find out the with what velocity that should be strikes the ground and already we have idea about the the velocity of the body while it is reaches the ground when it is falling from sudden velocity sudden height so when the body is falling from sudden height freely falling then the velocity on reaching the ground is under of 2g h under of 2g h that is the formula in this case we are going to use the formula is v is equal to under of 2ah this is the formula we are going to use for that first we have to find out the acceleration so what is the acceleration we have to find out in this case so here the two objects are there they are having some masses m2 and m1 that is the clue and now we can go for the for the first body for first body the body m1 is there for that we have to draw the free body diagram that is what m1 it is there in this direction what it is there m1 a force is acting and tension is there so simply here tension t it is there t is equals to m1 a t is equals to m1 a for the first body and similarly for the second body free body diagram is mass is m2 and tension is in upward direction that's where it is comes down the acceleration comes down that is a i am showing here now then what you have to say for the second body what you have to write net force is net force is what it is m 2 g weight is downward and density is upward that's what you write m 2 g minus t therefore what you have to write m 2 a is equals to m 2 g minus t and what is the first equation t is equals to m1 a so m1 a is equals to t so we have to add them this will cancel what you get m1 a plus m2 a is equals to m2 g m2 g which is common this one m1 plus m2 into a is common here and this is m2 g then what you get a is equals to m2 by m1 plus m2 into g so this is the value of a a is equals what m2 by m1 plus m2 into g now in that formula you have to substitute 
V is equals to to under root of two into a value is what? So first I am going to write a value. What is that? M two by M one plus M two into already here two is there and it is g is there. Then what do you get? Two g h. So v is equals to this is the value. So with this velocity, the M two can touch the ground. Okay na? So this is the last question of this video. I will upload the next part two, part three, part four also there. So first time if you are watching my videos, then go to the checklist uh, playlist of M set and NEET physics. It is there one playlist in that you have to check. So a part of the video choose na ro choose na puru notes prepare cheyendi. Notes prepare yes the my video choose the concept adam o thundi. Dhan to patu. मन की क्वेश्चन पेपर चूस्ट क्वेश्चन पेपर फारटी क्वेश्चन उठाई आ फारटी क्वेश्चन अने क्वेश्चन पेपर मैं कंप्लीट चूस्टे मन की फारटी टाइप आफ मोडल क्वेश्चन कवर अवता है प्रीविय क्वेश्चन पेपर ना मन चूस्ट मन की फारटी टाइप आफ प्राब्स उबी अवी डिफरेंट मोडल्स कवर चुनावी प्रीविय पेपर्स तक अच्छा वेक सो काबी वीडियो चूसू नोट्स खचित प्रिपेर से अब मन का चपे लक्ष्य में मन की ऐडिया वस्तु सो तक नोट्स प्रिपेर से ना वीडियो मेक नचते लाइक चेयरि षेर चेक कामें एवर एम से सीरियस प्रिपेर अवतारो वाली मन ानल सब्सक्रैब् चुस्कमी चपंडी थैंक यू